hey guys goodness here welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing well yeah welcome back to another video and um, if you're new here or you see my face for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is goodness i'm a wife a mother and a lifestyle vlogger based in italy okay so please try subscribing to this channel and don't forget to put on the bell notification so you don't miss out in any of our video okay yeah so guys in case you hear any noise now final the weather here is so freaking hot and we need this fan to survive okay so just bear with me i don't know if the fan will be disturbing the audio let me see if i can adjust it a bit so you guys from the title you already know what we're going to be talking about or uh, from the top names you know the people that we're going to be talking about today so basically we're going to be talking about marriage marriage in general yeah because of the so many divorce that we are seeing now <laughs> the divorce don't too much like the people we least expected our role model if your role model can't divorce now and what you will come to so we're going to talk about this so that people can watch and learn it's not that we're perfect but we just try to bring things out with our experience and what we've heard or read for this our past years that will be marriage okay so guys in one of my previous video i said marriage is a hard work i know some people will be like eh now so your marriage they had you <laughs> marriage is one hell of a hard work whether you like it or not whether you believe it or not marriage not hard work okay for the fact that you don't see people come out to talk about their marriage does not really mean that they are experiencing difficulties in marriage you know some people want just some people just want to keep quiet or they don't want people to talk about them they don't want people to mock them they don't want people to use them as an as an example there are so many reasons why some people don't just want to come out and speak okay so for the fact that they don't come out does not really mean that marriage is not a hard work like 60 percent of let me just say 50 percent or 40 percent of couples are experiencing difficulties in marriage or experiencing challenges in marriage that they can hardly come out and talk because they don't want to talk for some reason they just don't want to talk so i saw a post from chacha where she was saying she's done she wants to go blah 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 and all that that she preferred to come out alive that come out as a cop cops okay that come out as a corpse okay yeah and then um, who else then after that we'll cause to see full care husband who say he does the tire he won't come out i can't they want that we never are true for your uh, doche oh these two people don't join now what what did they happen what did they happen and when i saw full care oh, i was surprised there will be hearing rumors that full care marriage is you know is not working but uh, some people think saying are bloggers you know they're just doing that for views and all that so many of us never believed why will i believe because i see posts of both couples having fun sharing love in love dancing and all that if in fact last december i saw a video where um uh, fuka was dancing and the husband was spraying her money it was during christmas period and they were putting on christmas pajamas the both of them so and cha cha oh, <laughs> cha cha is always dancing with the husband oh, nah, no, nah. cha cha is always dancing with the husband showing love if you follow her on instagram you know exactly what i'm talking about you, there was a video i saw where the man was coming in with a gift and cha cha just embraced him and they were kissing and romancing and all that you'll be like oh my god they are so in love they are so beautiful together oh my hey, Mira, we wait there here back don't see marriages on social media play love and not that and you'll be like oh my god they are so in love and you're conscious that they affect yourself or they affect your husband for us or they affect your wife for us most of them now scam now scam big scam i'm telling you especially that cha cha although cha cha came out some time ago to let us know that she was done with her marriage and at the end of the day we hear saying a scam that she was having a problem whether they say a parabola disorder yeah so whenever she's pregnant she always have that diseases or sickness or whatever so some days ago again she come and say she don't tire for the marriage she want to go she want to divorce she want to go and blah 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 and all that so what's I'm saying now nah, is fine. We know there's some love for social media and nah, scam mm? that they try to scam up, but they're nothing scam you. Okay. What I'm 
I'm trying to say is, how can they have challenges in their marriage that they are not in talking to them, they're having issues with their husband, and they still make video together to post for social media. That is why I'm here, my people, because for me, I'm going to be using myself as an example. If I have bus bus with my husband, if we are not in talking terms, how will I carry camera now and tell the man, let's dance and post for people to think we're in talking terms or for people to think that our marriage is in peace or something? I don't understand. So please, I want them to teach me. And if you're watching this video, you know how they do it. Me, I want to know how to do how they do it so that I will know if I if I will be able to do it as well. Because if I'm not talking with my husband, we don't talk to each other. If we're having bars both in our marriage, we don't talk to each other. Like my husband most of the time will be in the city room. Me, I will be in the room for the days that we're not going to talk. But this one that full care husband said for two years now they've been trying to settle the issues and it's not working out. For two years. Does it mean for these two years, you people have not posted video? The video I saw was last year December, if I'm not mistaken. It was there last year December. So you people were having these issues. And we now still carry camera. Come video and say, they show us romance, kiss and all that, and post for us to believe all is well. Why now? Why? And I don't think they talk to my husband. We the agree ourselves to come do that thing with now. Because if I'm having issues with my husband, we don't even talk. Not to talk because I call carry camera meter. Babe, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. For what? My husband doesn't even like camera. Not to talk of say, we will not come to talk. He will come to show himself. If you've been watching my video, you see sometimes I don't even show him at all. If we are not in talking time, you will see me vlog. We might go to church together and do this together. I will just be showing myself and the kids. But whenever you see my husband show, show his face in my video, you will not say that the love we did that period, they pass 100%. Because my husband is not the camera type. So I don't know how they do it all. Because Cha Cha now said she done the beer for years. Fuke husband said they don't they try to iron his out for years. But you people have been showing us love on your Instagram handles and Facebook pages now. <laughs> I don't understand. So guys... That one for that. And again, ladies, there's something I want you ladies to know. Wives, couples, let's try and work on our marriage. Let's try and work on our marriage. Like, for the fact that you, you, you experience some challenges in marriage does not mean you will just quit. No, 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 no. I don't want any more. I want to go. I want to quit. Challenges will always come up. But you try and work things out. Try and work things out. Take time to see if you can work things out. Now, when you don't try to work things out, things are not getting better, things are getting worse, you can quit when you know you can't take it anymore. But for the fact that something bad just happened in your marriage or something you don't like happened, you will just carry your bag and say, I'm going. I will advise you, don't go. There's no need. Try and work things out. Especially when it does not involve domestic violence, then you can still work it out. Not only that domestic violence part, me, I can't, I can't, I don't feel stand up because you can kill me. Yes, now, nah, Osinachi don't go now, nah, they don't do better, everybody don't, don't forget her. Before some months, now nah, if you say Osinachi, people will come they say, Who is she? Who is she? Who is Osinachi? People they try to remember her because life don't move on, life not the wait for anybody. So please, we should try and work on our money because if you quit, these men, you still need them. Let's tell ourselves some truth. If you quit your marriage now just because something happened that you don't want to work on, people try to advise you, you don't want to hear, then you want to go, you want to let the man, you, you want to quit the marriage, you want to divorce your husband or you want to divorce your wife. But this man, let me talk to my fellow women and leave the man out of it first. But this man, you will still need them in your life now, be a lie. I don't understand. You will still follow them. Is that you get married to another man? Or even if you don't want to get married, you will date another man because you'll be human being and blood the flow for your vein. You will still date someone else or you will still get married to someone else. So for the fact that challenge just come up in your mind, it does not mean you will just quit. They never see anything or something just happened and you quit. Spend time to work things out. You see, sometimes, sometimes so, if you try to work things out, you will see the love, peace and harmony that will be restored in your home will be better than the one you were actually experiencing before. 
seriously. So we ladies to try to work because if you come out for the marriage just because of small things that happened, this man, <laughs> you will still follow them. You will still get married and you will still, you know, date. Even if you want to stay alone, you don't want to get married, but you go date someday. With time, you will define, you will first of all hate the men and all that. But with time, you will still date a man. You don't go date a woman. Okay, especially if you are the one that love marriage, because me that is sitting here, I'm someone that love marriage. I love love. I love being married. I don't love to be single. I don't know if you guys are telling me. I don't love to be single. So, so women are like that. They love to marry. They love to be married. They love to be called a married woman. They love family. Me, I love family. I love marriage. So, something cannot just happen in my marriage. Nah, 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 nah. Then you expect me to just quit. I will try, first of all, to work this out. It is when it's not working out that I will quit. I'm not telling you I will die there. No. First of all, I will try to work this out. But if it's not working out, obviously I will quit. Yeah. Especially if the person, when he commits the bad thing for the marriage, refuses to repent. That is when you can't continue. Maybe if your husband did something wrong and the thief pays you and your husband pleaded for forgiveness, your husband has to repent of that character, of that thing when he do to you. He has to repent. He has to stop doing it. Because if the woman forgives you, men, if you do something wrong to your wife or you cheat, let's say, for example, you cheated and your wife find out, you have to beg for forgiveness and stop cheating. So that peace can reign in your marriage. But if you beg for forgiveness and the woman forgive you, you continue cheating. It not go feel work. <laughs> yes. It gets to an extent the woman will get tired. It goes off a carry bag and go and leave you to follow your people, the girls or the women you're cheating with to go with them. That is how it works. But ladies, you don't just quit just because you something happened for the first time in your marriage. You just carry your bag and go. Let's try and work things out. And yeah. I, I watched a video where someone was saying, I'm in love, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I saw a video uh, uh, some days ago where a lady was actually talking about to, uh, Cha Cha. And the lady was like, I love my husband, but I'm not stupid. Or more, you don't love your husband. I don't know why people don't want to go into reality. They will just be, you know, beating around the boat. Do you know what love is? If you are in love, you're vulnerable and you're stupid at the same time. You can't be in love and not be stupid. Love and stupidity. In fact, if you like, believe this thing. If you like, don't believe. They work together. When you are in love, you're, you're stupid and you're vulnerable. Like there are some things you will be doing and people outside will be saying, what is wrong with this woman? What is wrong with this man? The man is doing nothing because you people think the man is stupid, but actually the man is in love. Have you not seen man that other people will be calling them woman rapper? Have you not seen men that fellow men outside will be calling the man? No man now. He has a wife don't tie her for rapper. He wife don't tie her for pot. He wife don't put her for bottle. But nothing like that actually happened. The man is in love with the wife, so he's believe he, so he's behaving stupidly. Love, vulnerable, and stupidity, they go together. There are some things you would do eh, when you are in love with someone. And when you're no more in love with that person, people will come and be reminding you, do you know you did this thing to that man? Do you know you gave that man your house? Do you know you gave that man your property? Do you know you gave that man this? And you'll be like, eh, I don't know what did they do me that time. Because you were in love. So if you're in love and you're not being stupid, people are not saying, I beg no man and a stupid woman. You never fall in love, oh. eh, eh. You still did that kind of 70-60%. That is the fact. So people will not believe this thing I'm saying. No, they'll say, how can you be in love and be stupid? Yes. If you're in love, sometimes, most of the times, you will be stupid. People will think you're stupid. You will be vulnerable. Anything the man say, you say, okay, you just want peace because you're in love with the man. Anything the woman talk, you see the man, you know, always with the woman. I've seen couples like that. And sometimes you see some people will be like, ah, now nah, wow, this woman, don't you juju finish that man? The woman not do any juju. The man is the love. So the love, they make and they behave stupidly. Not that the man is stupid, actually. The divorce is getting too much. And there's something I want you ladies to, to know. We... 
married women, I want there's something I want us to know. Expect anything in your marriage. For the fact that you're married to the love of your life, not me say you will not experience challenges. <laughs> expect anything, expect divorce, expect fight, expect challenges, expect anything. For the fine, you will be praying for these things not to come out. Still be expecting it in another way. If it happens, it will just break you down into pieces. You know some people, there are some ladies, when their spouse or their husband divorced them, you will not even see that woman again. The woman will just disappear. Like She will be totally broken. She never expected it. Why? Because she no ever expect say that man will tell and say he no need the marriage again. So men will be totally broken, like they go lose ten kilo within two days. Why? Because they never expect say that woman go tell they say he no go he no go do again. That is why in this marriage, even as you're praying, telling God, I love my marriage, I love my husband, I love my kids, I love my family. Please. Help us not to break up. Let's make this man help us to make this marriage work. Still, they expect say anything can happen, so that when it happens, you will not go and jump into the lagoon or enter tree track. May you kill yourself. So, because you see, this marriage, the devil is out to fight marriages. So, whether you like it or not, we need to be very, very prayerful. The pay me say church and marriage go end like that as she talk. I hope they are able to resolve this and come together because they are one family that I love so much, especially my husband. My husband loves Chacha. So eh, eh, Chacha Ike Mona Seto Mona Seto. Because my husband is someone that loves Chacha so much. Then when Chacha was not married. Yes, now my husband loved Chacha so much when they were not married there. And that was why you can see Chacha's first daughter name is Kamara, and my first daughter name is Kamara. So now something happened there. We needed to name our child after Chacha's first daughter. Because they are the family that we love so much. I love them so much. So you pay me say things end like that. Okay? Ladies, let's try and work on our marriage and see if it will work. But if, the, if you're trying to work on it and things are not working, what will you do? You move on life now for the living you we cannot go kid ourselves just because we are married and for marriage to work it has to come from both parties the effort needs to come from both parties both the male and the female the husband and the wife because if it's only you that is putting effort i said it before in one of my video it's only you that is trying trying to put this together for the marriage to work say this marriage or more say this marriage must work say this marriage must or more you will get to an extent, you will tire out, you will be tired. Like, you will be exhausted. And guys, there's something I notice now. Some people not get married to their husband or wife because of what they will gain from the marriage. Some men will marry their wife because of what they will gain. And women will marry their husband because of what they will gain. They will, you can't like say marriage is not a business. Or if marriage is not a business, Everybody don't gain. Definitely, they will go their separate ways now. If you're into your marriage for business sake, you can't take your husband's excesses. Your husband cannot take your excesses. Why? Because if you're there for business, you don't love the man. And the man does not love you. You're there because of what you will get from the man. And the man is there because of what... Uh, he will get from you. That was what I noticed in Funke and is it JJC they call that one? Their marriage or JCC? I don't know if it's JJC. That was what I noticed in their marriage. They were both in that marriage for something. I don't know. I might be wrong. My opinion might be wrong, but that was what I noticed. So Funke and I don't get what he wants. JJC, if he doesn't get what he wants, he can't drive the man out. And so people were like, how you go let your wife, how, why would your wife drive you out of the house? Because now the man get the house now. Because now the woman get the house now. Why you not drive her? Marriage don't over, you go go now. You know no. Yes. So I believe both of them were in business. So now, business don't over, everybody need to go their own. Don't go into marriage for business sake. Say because of what you will get. Because at the end of the day, 
you divorce that man or the man divorce the woman, the kids will so be the one to suffer for it. Children suffer divorce in case you don't know. Children suffer divorce a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope um, you found this video helpful, entertaining, interesting. Please, if you watch to this point, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Put on the bell notification so you don't miss out in any of our uploads. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.